Hey everyone, it's Andy, John, communitygum.com, here to do a retro box break. Retro box break! If this is a uh, 2007 UD Masterpieces uh, box. We saw uh, Beardy open one of these, I think, and uh, it was great. I kind of liked the uh, canvas look and stuff, so we're going to see if we can pull a, uh, a Lincecum out of this. Exclusive artist painting. An exclusive artist painting of Tim Lincecum is my hope. Mm -hmm. um, I really don't know what else is in here. Framed painting parallel cards, including versions numbered to 99 or less. We pull an average of three memorabilia cards and one signature from every box, according to the box. You heard it here first, or 400th. Yeah, because it's I don't a little think the first. We've been talking a lot about how uh, the new how new wax is um, too costly and not as exciting sometimes as this older stuff. These are all uh, on card autos in here and a bunch of pretty much worthless relics. Oh, we got a box topper. Isn't that a sweet box <laughs> topper of my new favorite player, Andy LaRoche. When I was a kid, I had I had a uh, uh, no MLB experience. I um I wanted to collect all players named Andy because mm -hmm. at the time it was pretty much just Andy Van Slyke, and so, but then he was playing for the Cardinals. But and then like you realized you were going to be collecting Andy Van Slyke, yeah, and you decided really not to. Probably not the best idea. So, uh, how many like eighteen packs in a box here? Eighteen packs. I can already tell which ones have the relics and which ones don't. Oh yep, I see it. Uh, oh. Yeah. Well, we're gonna get right to it. Um, these cards uh, interested me because of the painting, the texture, the um, uh, and the on card autographs. I thought looked kind of cool and uh, the design too. Is yeah, the design is is pretty basic. Here's a uh, King Griffey Jr. The first card I see. Obviously, a painting taken from a picture, but that's fine. That's cool. I got Ty Cobb pulling some Street Fighter move. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> kicking a dude in the stomach. And uh, see, uh, I love I love opening older stuff because you get to see rookie cards of stuff that like you know guys who obviously aren't rookies anymore, like Dice K. There was a time when this card might have been selling for a good uh, chunk of change, it's just some Japanese bidders on yeah. eBay. So hopefully, I can pull that uh, Onus Wagner Haruken. <laughs> to go along with your Ty Cobb there. Uh, star kick from each one. All right. Well, I've gotten our first insert here, and hey, it's a good one. It's another Griffey, but this is a number to fifty. It's got a blue border to it. Um, not exactly sure what that means, but someone can tell me. Maybe it's blue or black. Hard to tell. I have a parallel as well. But mine isn't numbered at all. It's a, I believe, a green Tom Glavin. Not numbered. Not the numbered. Green, the greens, I guess, are numbered. Where's yours numbered? It's on. numbered on the uh, the back, right above the. Uh, yeah, it's mine does not have that. This is, this actually isn't a parallel. This is a different photograph than King Griffey, so I guess it's a parallel variation. I don't know. I don't really know much about this product. Nope. Beardy, tell us uh, tell us what's up. Um, I think I've got a. Uh, got something here. Sorry. Hey. Is there any <laughs> Andy Roche, uh, Base rookie. Oh, oh not a relic. Ringo is almost not a relic. Really. That's a that's a decoy. But I didn't know they had uh, classic players in here. That's a Babe Ruth card. I showed you the tight card. Well, I mean, before you open that one, there's a yeah. Chipper Jones too. Mm -hmm. So I guess we were wrong about the relics. Interesting. Relics. All right, I got a. Uh, didn't expect to see this guy in here. Michael Jordan, classic player, taking a knee. He is retired. He's a retired player yeah. from hoops to hardball. No MLB experience. Sure, sure doesn't have any. Uh, here's a dice K green. So we've gotten a variation. Which way does the Which way does the wizard go? Up or down? Up or down? <laughs> We're working on my webcam again here. We apologize in advance if it's out of sync or low quality. I got my first relic. I also got a Sandy Colfax. I just like nice. I just love this great picture. Drawing. Drawing. Uh, who's our relic? Oh, I've got a Kirk Gibson here. I've got a Babe Ruth green. I got a Babe Ruth. Another eggs. I'm not, I got another Babe Ruth too. There must be several Babe Ruths in here. Maybe that one's card number twenty-two. What's yours? Mine is number two, and that one is the parallel of the twenty-two that I pulled. Got it. Ha. So there are multiples of some players. First relic. Beach. The beach. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> John got himself a beach. Captured on canvas. I would like to have a beach captured on canvas at some point. 
Well, we are on the internet, so anything's possible. <laughs> oh, oh my god, this is my favorite card I've ever seen in my life. That is a Kurt <laughs> Schilling with a picture in picture of the maybe fake Bloody Sock. Uh, how many? Do we already have the base card version of this one? We do. Yeah, kind of disappointing. Got a dub. Got a dub of the Ken Griffey Jr. I'm not going to show it. Um, Alex Rodriguez playing a fake horn of some kind. Uh, like a trumpet. I don't know. Uh, Chipper Jones, parallel number to 99. It's a nice little drawing as well. I got everyone's favorite new red sock, Jason Bay. I got Jason Bay. Yeah. Well, but this one has a oh, piece one's... of game used uh, captured on canvas. Uh, he's actually a Met. So yeah. he's I a thought he got traded to the Red Sox. He last year, and now he's oh. signed with the Mets this year. Shows you how much I care about where Jason Bay is playing baseball. Yeah, so. Well, I think I've got our autograph here. Hambless parallel. I don't know if you nice pool holes. Nice show. Go use. Well, when you get an older, uh, when you get an older product, yeah. and uh, you're you're hoping for on-card autos, sometimes, sometimes you get the Jeremy Sowers. <laughs> so hopefully, some Indians fan out there is just begging, just begging sour, for it. Sour taste. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's why. That's why I hired you, John. Yeah. Uh, we got another relic here. This is our third, I believe. We got ourselves a Garrett Atkins with a nice little pinstripe right down the middle. Well, I, I got a, I got ourselves a classic player, a little Bill Clinton, throwing out the first pitch at an Indians Indians game. Apparently, I'm assuming the back says no MLB experience. It says nothing at all. It just says has the story. Um, interesting that the. He's the governor of Arkansas, yet we got a pitch for not the Arkansas mm. whatever it would be. Carlton Fisk, the opposite angle of him. Push it. Push it over. I wonder what happens <laughs> on the other side of this canvas. It's probably foul. It's probably it, foul ball. It was captured on canvas. Uh, and then last pack, David Ortiz. He's not playing. Andy LaRoche, we got another one of the rainbow. <laughs> Is that the same? Do we have the it's the same card. Double green? No, I didn't get a green, I got the base. I got the Kennedy, so I won up your Clinton. Oh did says you. Anyway, well that's that's upper deck says masterpieces. History. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, Marilyn Monroe, thank you very much. That's two thousand seven upper deck masterpieces. Real quick box break for you there. That was fun. We like it. Cool uh, I like it. Good parallels in there. We got one of the better uh, uh, low-numbered parallels. I think you can get not such a great autograph. Middling not relics, so great, but they're not worth anything anyway. So, uh, but good cards, good quality. Uh, if anyone is putting together this set, let us know. We can shoot you some cards. Uh, but uh, check back. We've got a uh, another box <laughs> coming up. Here, grab another one. We've Taste got, the rainbow. We've got another... Uh, We've got another box, uh, another classic box break coming up for you real soon, so check back. Right now. Later. Or later. Okay. Right. Mostly later. Cut. I have to press stop here.